There's one way to piss off your fucking neighbors. <laughs> Shit, this thing is loud. I haven't been driving the Hellcat, so I uh, wanted to uh, start it up, kind of get some oil and gas running through it. So I ran it for a few minutes, obviously. I let it warm up before I started revving it, but it's still pretty cold out. Um, it is finally going to boost performance this week for a few mods. I'll, uh, I'll, go, I'll go over those when we actually get to boost um, this week. I'll probably drop it off Thursday or Friday. I was supposed to drop it off last week, but actually they were so busy and backed up with cars, Rigo's being one of them, the uh, camo cat. Um, yeah, they're just really slammed right now. Everyone's trying to get their stuff in and get it finished before race season starts. Um, the track supposedly opens at the end of March and uh, pretty much everything is full go by April. So obviously depending on weather, but we've had a really light winter. So everyone's really trying to get their stuff done. I'm trying to get mine done as well um, because Kevin and I will announce soon, but we're going to do a lot of traveling this summer. We're going to be going to a lot of car meets, a lot of car events around the country. Um, probably not so much on the East Coast, I would say, but definitely in the large state of Texas. Um, definitely going on the West Coast because we like, we definitely like going uh, to Arizona, California, all those places. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. And... Uh, Yes, yeah, so we got to get my car done in time. Kevin's going to do some more stuff to his. So we got to get those done in time. And that's partially the reason why I picked up a truck was so we could trailer to events this summer together. But uh, yeah, for all the new subscribers, I want to thank you guys for subscribing. And uh, make sure you guys comment and interact with me below. And follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And we can interact on there as well. I always like talking to you guys. I enjoy it. Uh, appreciate all the feedback you guys always give me. But I figured I would do a cold start and some revs. And uh, if you heard when the car started loping a little bit, kind of sound like it had a cam, that's actually the methanol priming. So if you have meth, um, you always, anytime you don't drive the car for a while, you definitely want to make sure you prime the methanol just to make sure that it's actually kicking in and working. And when you hear the car kind of lope like it has cams, that means the methanol is actually spraying into the system. So that means you're good to go, good to romp on it. You always want to check that because if you uh, romp on the car and you've got no meth, well, you're shit out of luck because uh, your car was tuned um, for the methanol and the timing was set for methanol. So I'll give you guys kind of a walk around since you haven't seen Sneaky Cat in a while. Um, here it is. Obviously, it's wrapped satin black. It's got the Mopar OEM lowering springs with ABOC control arms up front. Got some Mickey Thompson 305s in the back, soon to be... 
a different tire for the drag setup, but this is my daily driver setup. It's not my daily driver, but when I do daily drive it, um, all the lights are all blacked out with Lux Auto Tint. I've got a uh, Sneaky Cat Texas plates, Sneaky Cat character. <laughs> um, I got this from Lux Auto, so this is our CA Contagion Athletics, our brand, and uh, they made these for Kevin and I, so they're pretty cool. Um, we got the American flag with the CA cut out, and then got the Contagion Athletics windshield banner, which is available on our website if you guys ever want to pick up our stuff. We don't really plug our merchandise because uh, we want it to grow organically, and uh, if you guys like it, well, you can buy it, and if you don't like it, don't buy it. I don't really care. <laughs> Doesn't really affect me, so... Um, and then we got Kevin's car, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Um, so new mods coming to Kevin's car also, which he'll update later. And you know what? I have a mod here. I'll, I'll show you guys. Just, I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of one of the mods. So this is just one of them. But uh, I'll give you guys a little, little sneak peek for you. So there's the box. If you know what those are, most people know what those are, then you know what they are. And uh, that's one of the mods that will be going on the car when it gets dropped off at Boost. And like I said, I'll go over some of the other mods. I just don't want to give it all away. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be showcasing how much power the car makes after these next mods that are going on the car. Um, just because a lot of people talk shit around here. And uh, i kind of just going to like you know run my car how it is. And uh, if people want to race it, they want to race it. And uh, I don't really need to gloat about the power that it makes anymore. Just know that it makes a lot of power and it's a fast car. And uh, a lot of people talk shit on Hellcats around here because they're heavy. But, uh, you know, come run my Hellcat then. So, <laughs> um, Kevin's the same way too. When he does his other mods, um, we're not going to post. We're, I'm pretty sure he's not going to post the power about his either. And uh, we'll talk about it more in some upcoming videos, like I said with what we're gonna do to the cars, but uh, and you can kind of figure out based off of what other people have made, um, what the cars will be making, but uh, I don't think we're gonna post exact numbers just cause we kinda wanna run the cars and uh, we wanna race some people and uh, take some money from some people this summer. So uh, we'll take you guys along for the ride. It's gonna be a crazy spring, crazy summer with all the events we're gonna try and hit. Um, if any of you know about TX2K, that one, I don't know for sure about, I know I'm kind of rambling, but I just want to talk about TX2K real quick and then we'll close it out. But that event is really close. I think, I want to say it's like exactly, no, it's a little more than a month away. I'll say it's like 36 days or something like that. It's really close. We're not that far out. But anyways, it's like the middle of March, like March 14th through the 18th, something like that. Uh, one of the biggest roll race um, events of the year. It's in Houston, Texas. They're really known for the street racing that goes on at night. Now, these cars at night, they would get worked. Um, there's definitely a couple different meets, but there's meets where you've got 2,500 horsepower UGR Lambos, 2,000 horsepower GTRs, 1,800 horsepower GTRs, 1,500 horsepower Supras. I mean, insane cars. So obviously we wouldn't be running those cars, but there is a lot of cars in like the 800 to 1,000 horsepower range. Now, we'll be in, you know, somewhere in that range. Our cars are obviously heavier, so they won't be as fast. But it'd still be fun to get some runs in down there. And TX2K is just such a large event. There's so many cool cars to see, so many people to meet and interact with within the car industry. So it would definitely be worth it. It just depends on if we get the cars done in time. So if you guys think we should go to TX2K and we should really push for the cars to get done, comment below. I know it's going to be tough to get them done in time. Mine, mine could probably be done in time. Kevin's is a little different because his tuner is in Detroit, so he's got to fly his tuner out and work all that out with the mods that he wants to do. And uh, it's kind of hard because we got to take off time from work. But if you guys think we should go, you should comment below. Comment on our Instagram. Say go to TX2K. And uh, we'd love to meet any of you guys that are out in the Houston area. So. That's gonna conclude today's video. Like I said, just a small update. I wanted to give you a cold start on the Hellcat. It does have, um, as far as the exhaust goes, it has no cats, no mufflers. It's pretty much straight piped all the way through. It's pretty freaking loud. And uh, it was cold out today too. So 
and it echoes a lot in the garage. But uh, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at vanv 39 Follow Kevin at CaliboyKev and let us know if we should go to TX2K or if we should come to your city this spring or this summer. We'll see you guys on the next one.